Hello everyone. Good day. My name is Mazhar. I'm the general manager for customer success unit for Microsoft Malaysia. Today we are uh, here to talk about secure authentication. Um, secure authentication is the process of correctly verifying a user's identity. It answers the question of who are you when a person requests access to a system. Think about how you log in to your email or social media accounts. Traditionally, you would uh, need a username and a password for the system to confirm that you are who you say you are. Although uh, not the most uh, secure form of authentication today, the concept of passwords is, is still widely widely used because it functions on the assumption that only the user knows the password. These days, there are far more secure authentication methods available than just a password. But let's take a step back and answer the question of why is secure authentication even necessary? These days, criminals are constantly attempting to access um, our data as the world becomes increasingly digitally dependent. If we leave our accounts and systems unprotected, we will find that people with bad intentions can steal, damage, alter or destroy that data. We have seen report after report of organizations faced with data breaches since the health pandemic began. Therefore, understanding and employing the appropriate authentication methods can be one of the factors that can keep you from falling victim to a data breach. And here are some standard authentication methods for you to explore. First, password authentication. As mentioned before, password authentication is an option considered by many as inadequate for today's threat landscape and use cases. Most uh, users tend to reuse passwords across different applications or create easily guessable passwords making it easier for cyber criminals to access your systems. The second type of authentication is biometric authentication. Biometric authentication is supposedly one of the most secure types of authentications available due to its dependence on users biological characteristics. This includes facial recognition, uh, voice recognition and fingerprint scanning. Number three, token-based authentication. For token-based authentication, users will need to verify their identity to receive a unique token that can be used to gain access to the system once only. Once the user logs out, the token is no longer valid and the user will need to obtain another one to access the system once more, just like the OTP that you receive today. And then last but not the least, multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication is where access to the system will require a minimum of two pieces of evidence from the user. This is basically a combination of the authentications method that we mentioned above, encompassing what you know, like password, what you have, like a token, or what you are, facial recognition. By having two factors, criminals have to gain a lot more information, making it harder to penetrate your systems. Now, it may sound a little complicated, but setting up multi-factor authentication in today's world is actually not that difficult. There are, there are now applications that can help you do that, such as Microsoft's Authenticator app, that allows you to not only sign in securely with a password, but also implement multi-factor authentication using the fingerprint, facial recognition, or PIN number, as well as time-based, one-time passcodes to make it much harder for hackers to break into the system. In short, secure authentication is an essential piece of the cyber security puzzle today because it is essentially the first line of defense from an attacker and should be treated as such with that thank you very much for listening me out good day to you all